with political system to to actually make it work for the social policy. And one other thing which came, which I came across in the last 20, 20 years, that you have a rural poverty, but the policy is not really working to reduce it. Roughly in Pakistan, you have 79 million people who are poor. Out of them, 71 million live in villages. And unless you really don't come up with a new management structure which could actually target these, you won't be able to reduce it. Um, the existing state structure is essentially colonial. It is designed to really not, the, not serve people, but actually the people are supposed to serve the state. And that's exactly we continue. And we had high hopes from local governments, um, but the problem is that political parties don't buy the idea. And whenever they come to power, they dismantle it. And, and in Pakistan, last 40 years, whenever you had a successful local government, it was always uh, during the military, military dictatorships. Um, and the present government, which I think is, is, is very big on local government, their law is good. I have personally analyzed it. I have great hopes for it. I'm working with the Prime Minister House also to, I mean, when they were making the law, I, I, my contribution was to actually make them convinced that you should restructure it from Union Council to village level. But the problem is that I don't see that uh, it would be sustainable because other political parties have to agree with it also. So the solution to this is that you have to create a model which is rooted inside a state structure, so which means that you have to create a village level structure, which I call village social, comprising of 300 households. You give them their own uh, legal personality, you give them uh, a bank account, and then you link them with the assistant commissioner office, which I, I'm now arguing that it should be a new office called the assistant commissioner outreach. And those ACs will be different than the present one, but you'll have the structure there, then you have up at the district and the, and the provincial level. And these people will then have assistance of a technical agency at their seed level. And then you would manage development of, you know, annual development plan which is given to them. These agencies would manage it without contractors. This would uh, improve implementation, ownership, but also would uh, take away corruption, which is actually very much embedded in our structure. I think that if you give it a go, in 10 years you can, you can reduce poverty and this is not coming from thin air. Um, I've seen, I've quoted in my book also, uh, case studies of China, Korea, and I think that it's important for us that we, if we want to deepen the state and want the society to really deliver, this is the first thing you need to do. And I'm happy that I'm here today at the University of Central Punjab where we discuss this and the new model the Junior Foundation and Dr. Amit Saqib is proposing in Kasul. Absolutely, we have to have more models like this, like this. But the more important is to link this with political system and structure and administrative system of the state. And, and I think that uh, this is the time to do it because we have roughly 65% people who are young and many of them, they, we need to use them uh, to lead this process at the